Hey guys, welcome to the Diet Doc Life Mastery Podcast. I'm Joe Klemzeski, founder of the Diet Doc with Dr. Corey Propes, our wellness director and vice president. And Corey, we are entering the holiday season for those who are keeping <laughs> up with us live on the podcast. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, working with direct clients on some of the things that we do, kind of navigating the holidays and mm -hmm. keeping goals on track. I'm also working on the business development side with a lot of fitness coaches, fitness entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and an interesting thing happens in that, you know, we get excited. We have these phone calls. I, I just got off the phone with one of my coaches and mm -hmm. I said, now, wait a second. We've spent 45 minutes and my adrenaline level is up to here. I'm ready to run through a brick wall, but I need <laughs> to make sure because I know your personality. I need to make sure that you've been taking some notes. You're going to have a strategy session with your wife and you're going to, you're going to actually implement these things. And I think that's yeah a really hard thing for all of us because we get distracted, life happens, and mm -hmm. those super high mountaintop moments where we're going to conquer the world, mm -hmm. you know, kind of get pulled back into real life. Sure. So uh, how does a health psychologist like you <laughs> figure all this out? Yeah. So, Joe, I think all really great points. We're super motivated in the beginning. We have a high level of energy. Everything looks really rosy and bright and you know, we're focused on that end outcome. And that's a real, that nothing is wrong with that. That's a really important place to be. And I think we don't want to squelch that energy. We want to capitalize on that energy. But part of us doing that is really getting in touch with the reasons why we're going to engage in these steps in the first place. Um, so you mentioned the holidays. You know, there's let's take a fat loss goal. Fat loss goal during the holidays can, can begin to feel incredibly challenging because of all the temptations, all of the food around, you know, it's more energy is being divvied out in different areas of our lives. There's different things to prioritize. And let's just take the example of, you know, a, a person with this type of goal or one of your entrepreneurs that you're working with coming home on a Friday night, it's been a really, really long week. You're tired. They're fatigued mentally and physically. And they have these things that they, they still want to do well. This person is like, I know, I know I need to eat a really healthy meal. It's super important for me. And I really just want to order pizza tonight. <laughs> Please just order pizza. I want something easy. I want something convenient and I want something yummy. Now, in this sort of situation, I'm not the type of coach that's going to be like, yeah, that's a bad idea. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a bad idea. You want something easy? Okay. Yeah, that, that probably is. Let's take care of yourself that way. You want something convenient? Okay. Yeah, that doesn't have to mean you making a really raunchy decision either. And you want something yummy? Okay. All of those things can be very positive. The problem comes in when we engage in an action that is counter to the goal. Wanting something easy and convenient is not bad at all. But when we, when we take an action that's completely misaligned from the outcome we're moving towards, we take that detour, that's the problem. We forget the long game in moments like that. So in, in that moment, we're in the throes of possibly taking an impulsive action, right? That's when we need to come back to that decisional balance that we probably engaged in in the very beginning. Your entrepreneurs, for example, they went through a process of asking themselves, okay, so, you know, if I, if I take this action, if I engage in this marketing strategy, here are the pros of that strategy and here are the cons of that strategy. If I don't take this marketing action and engage in this strategy. Here are the pros and here are the cons. This is something that a lot of people may not do. Most people will say, okay, I want to lose weight. What are the pros and cons of losing weight? But what about not losing weight? What are the pros and cons of not taking that action? This gives us a whole bunch more new information. And why is it important? Because in those moments when things become a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging, we have some conflict going on, it feels harder, 
we need to be able to come back to that decisional balance and pull out all of the ways in which our lives will become smaller, all the ways in which we deprive ourselves by not taking the action we said we were going to. Is this making sense so far? Yeah. Um, you know, it makes me think because you use two really good examples of, you know, somebody who just wants to lose some body fat mm -hmm. and somebody who's trying to achieve a big goal, like, you know, finishing school, building a business. Yeah. And you took me mentally right back to that instantaneous point of decision that I think happens so fast mm -hmm. that it's almost like sometimes we succeed and sometimes we fail. But here's, here's that decision point. I'm trying to lose weight. If anything's going great, I do have that long game vision in mind. Yeah. But when my stomach is growling yeah. and there are cookies on the kitchen counter, <laughs> it's so easy to lie to myself and say, well, one won't matter, you know, maybe two. And then yes. even, even though it doesn't maybe spin me completely out of control, it's just like, well, that just took the entire margin of my calorie deficit for the day. Or the business owner yeah. who says, well, I am tired. I know I should write that article. I know I should make that phone call, but I'm just going to watch TV for now. It, uh, and, and the lie is, it doesn't really matter. It's just one night. Mm -hmm. And so in those individual tiny decision points that become our lives yep. and our goal outcome, how does Corey Probst help a person say, no, this is how you're going to win at that single individual decision point? So in, in that moment, when you hear the voice that says, oh, it'll be fine. It's not going to matter. It's just one night. You'll miss out on all of this yum. Oh, those cookies. Oh my gosh, you're going to miss out on that the soft chewiness and the flavor, um, you deserve it. You've had a really hard, arduous week. You deserve it. I have my clients write down all that chatter. So you just went through something last week that was pretty difficult. What was the voice saying? What was the voice telling you to try to move you in that more impulsive direction that said, eh, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal write down all of the things that that voice says that is counter to your goal, to the outcome that you want. Write it all down. Do you have them stop in that moment or are you just talking about like, like it's separate, just this is your homework for the week? Homework. I do yeah. it as homework. It can be much harder in the moment. And what it, when we can do it beforehand, it, it, removes the power from that voice, it removes the power. And then what we're already doing, because there's a second step to it, is we're priming the mind for recognizing when the voice pops up. It's like, oh, like I knew you were going to show up. You telling me that I deserve it. Like I discovered that you did that last week. It's bogus. So the second step is write them all down. And this is an ongoing process because new ones are going to come up. The voice can be super powerful and manipulative and wants to prey on your fatigue and stress when things just aren't going as you don't necessarily feel as integrated. So write it all down. Second step, with each one, with each statement that the voice makes, find the lies in it. So you deserve it. That's, that's on your list. What are the lies in that? And there may be a kernel of truth to every single thing that the voice says, but with you deserve it. Well, the lie is I deserve a lot of things. I actually, I deserve a life of confidence and integrity and optimal motivation that isn't bogged down by a cheesy pizza or 10 cookies. That's what I deserve. I deserve to be able in my life to make decisions that are not impulsive and that lead me to this feeling of optimization and less guilt Super. and shame. So That's awesome. Yeah. Do that with every single one of the, the statements that the voice makes. Find the lies and then find the, the, the truths within yourself that counter the statements. All right, guys, that is your homework for the week. And I've, <laughs> I've yet to do that, Corey. So I'm, I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to commit to you. I'm going to be accountable to awesome. what you just said. 
and uh, and I will I will definitely do that this week. So you guys watching and listening, stay tuned. We got some more great topics coming up in the Life Mastery podcast, and we will catch you next time. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.